So this lesson is on terminating and repeating decimals. So we are taking from the text, this is 2.1, terminating and repeating decimals. And in essence, what this is, is every fraction can be converted into a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So for example, the fraction 1 half can be converted into the fraction, uh, decimal 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. And this is what we call a terminating decimal because there's nothing else that occurs after the 0 0.5. However, if we take the fraction 1 third, we see that that is a 0 0.3333 and that continues on uh, forever. That's what we call a repeating decimal. So this is a repeating decimal because we have a pattern that occurs whereas a terminating decimal is just final. It stops terminating. Now how we write this, terminating decimals, we don't need to write it, but a repeating one, we have a special notation in math called the bar notation. And that's where we put a bar over the number to represent the repetition. So 0 0.3 repeated is represented by this symbol 0 0.3 with a bar on top, meaning repeated. Other examples, for example, 8 over 9 is 0 0.888 repeated, and we can convert that to bar notation by putting it 0 0.8 with a bar on it, which we pronounce 0 0.8 bar. Some other examples, such as 2 over 15, have the fraction 0 0.1333 repeated, However, we see that the 1 is not repeated, but only the 3 is. So that means we put a bar over only the 3. So this is the same as 0 0.13 with a bar only over the 3. Now, how do, can we predict whether or not a number or a fraction will be a terminating or repeating decimal? De depends on the denominator. In order for it to be terminating, terminating means that the denominator... has prime factors of 2 and or 5 only. So as we can see here, the denominator 2 gives a terminating decimal. If it's a denominator that has prime factors of 3, we'll get repeating. In this case, this is a prime factors of 3 and 3, such as the denominator 9. So I predict that my decimal will be repeating. The denominator 15 has prime factors of 5 and 3. And so 5 would normally be terminating, but the 3 causes it to repeat. So for example, if I take the fraction um, 11 over 25, if I prime factorize the denominator, 25 is 5 times 5. Because I only have 2s or 5s, I predict that this fraction will terminate. However, if it was 11 over uh, 26, which this is now prime factorized into 2 and 13, 2 normally would cause it to terminate. However, the presence of the 13 would make this fraction repeat. So our homework then is page 50, numbers 7, 8, 9, and 10, and that is due on Thursday of this week. So that's terminating and repeating decimals.